My name is Hiroshi Anagita, and I am a sophomore in mechanical engineering. And today, I'm going to talk about the fruits of my research. So, I started with the question, what is the secret sauce to a 3D printed object's strength? There are many parameters that play a role into the 3D printing process, and these include, but aren't limited to, the raster angle, orientation, infill density, number of shells, and so on. After looking through countless reports, no person had, or group had actually taken the time to see what each of these individual parameters did for the cube. I mean, for the object. So I decided to compare two. The infill density, which is the interior grid pattern of the cube, versus the number of shells, which are the exterior number of layers. And what I ultimately found is, as you can see on the left side here, you are actually losing money. Um, the left side with the strength to weight ratios, uh, from left to right, you're, you're losing the efficiency, the efficiency is going down as you increase the infill density. As opposed to when you are on the right side, by increasing the number of shells, the compressive strengths of the cubes were actually a lot stronger, especially around three, uh, three shells. So, what, um, so basically, what does this all mean? Let's translate this into the big picture. Understanding exactly what gives a 3D printed object its strength is the way to get the most bang for your buck when printing larger scale objects, such as houses. Imagine, if we can fully optimize this technology, we can solve the housing crisis in downtown Chattanooga for little cost. There are companies in China producing 1,000 square foot houses for five to $10,000 that have a 20 year life expectancy. Small businesses can also capitalize this by reducing their stock costs and by getting safe and efficient 